Hey guys, it's GT Nickel, and today, if you haven't guessed already, we're gonna be making booze. It's quite simple. I've seen a few videos of how to make this. I've got a friend who is uh, quite the veteran of booze making, and I've uh, basically talked me through it. I think I got it down, and we're gonna give it a try. I did some with uh, bread yeast, just to do, do a little experimenting, and I got the fermentation down, so. I think I'm ready to do it with the real deal now. So instead of bread yeast, what we have over here is actual brewing yeast, which right there, Lalvin, um, EC118. Um, I honestly don't know the, the meanings of those numbers, um, but it's obviously got something to do with the yeast. <laughs> so um, th this, is, this is the stuff that was recommended to me for this basic um, type of wine that we're gonna be doing. Yeah, we're going to be doing blackberry wine. It's very simple. The blackberries are just right there. They're ready to be picked. If not, they're going to mold. So it's time to, to do something with them if we're going to do anything with them. So here we are. Notice I've got a condom. We'll go into that a little bit later. This is the final stage of um, how to make your seal. Uh, you can use a balloon. Uh, condoms work, but I recommend if you're going to use the condom, you'll want a bowl of water to wash your condom off before you use it or you might end up with uh, that lubricant stuff inside and whatnot, and probably not the best stuff, so good to wash it before you use it. <laughs> then, because we're doing, um, in this case, we're doing uh, three gallons, because that's the container I have. I've got three bags, a two kilogram uh, bag, so that's about um, 15 pounds of sugar sitting here. That'll be enough to do six gallons, should be no problem. We've got a propane stove to boil water. We're not actually going to boil it. We're just going to get it pretty warm so it dilutes our sugar. We're going to dilute it in this uh, big pot right here. We'll just take the lid off it and we'll heat up the water. We're going to use this bottled water right here. You can use tap water. It's fine. Um, the thing is, is I bought this container specifically to make the wine in and it already came with water so I figure why not just use the water that's in it and melt the sugar and then put that back in there. So should work pretty good. So we're going to get into the process. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to dump this water into that pot and we're going to start warming it up while we pick blackberries. But because I have a lot of blackberries to put in here, I'm not going to heat up the water until I've got my blackberries put in here. And then we can start heating up the water because that shouldn't take very long. So uh, I'm going to turn off the camera and we will uh, continue on with the next step. So we've emptied all the water into the uh, pan there, into the pot. I just put the lid on the pot to keep bugs out and whatnot. We are outside. This is the outdoor elements. This is called bush booze, mind you. So it's done outside um, or can be done outside. So one other thing I forgot to mention that you're going to need is a funnel. It's going to help you get your sugar water back into that container when the time comes. So we're ready to now fill this container up with blackberries. I've got a lid on it too just to keep it sealed. And we're going to start picking blackberries and loading it up. So just basically all you do is you pick the decent blackberries, which is kind of stupid simple. And you just drop them in there until this guy is filled up to about there you want it filled with blackberries, right up to the top. They're not to the top, you know what I mean, right about there. This little line, just a tiny little bit past that line will be good. And you'll want it uh, pretty full of blackberries. So let's get on picking. Well, got almost all my blackberries picked. I've uh, got just a few more to go, but I'm going to heat up my water now. So we're ready to put this on to the element. Hopefully it'll stay there without tipping. We're going to put our propane in. Just, um, sorry. There we go. Now, I'm going to light our burners. Sort of simple. I think we got a flame. Yeah, we got a flame. And I'll do this other one. There. Sorry about that. So, yeah, our flames are on. So, we're heating the water up. 
just want to get it warm so it's somewhat boiling or sorry so it's not boiling but so it's steaming sort of just at a, a bringing to a boil and then we're going to put our sugar in there and dilute it and mix it real good so I'm going to continue picking some blackberries just to top that sucker off and uh, we'll heat up this water enough so we can dilute that sugar so see you guys so, in the next clip anyway we're about to put the sugar in we're just going to do that right now we got a warm pot of water so I'm going to be putting three of these two kilogram bags in that's 15 pounds of sugar I'm um, sorry it's quite hard to do this single handedly but I will do my best in place so we don't roll off the table here I am on a bit of a hill so I'm gonna continue I'm gonna put all three in there I'm just gonna turn it off for um, convenience sake so we've got three gallons of water and three two kilogram bags of sugar so that's um, six kilograms of sugar and we're gonna stir this into a syrup and when it's a syrup, lukewarm, we're going to pour it into our blackberries with that funnel. And this is basically sugar water or syrup that we're trying to make here. So I'm just going to let that warm up a little bit. I'm going to put the lid back on. I want to make sure that this is clean. I'm not sealing the lid so we have pressure or anything. All I'm doing is just leaving it on there so little bugs and whatnot don't end up flying in there while we're making a sugar. So anyway, here's the three two kilogram bags. Just Rogers white sugar. You can use any sugar. You can even use brown sugar. It doesn't really matter. Um, but white sugar is cheaper, so that's what we're going with. We're trying to make this che uh, cheap, cheap and cheerful booze. So it really doesn't take long to do. It's sort of um, the, the longest part is getting the blackberries, I would say, or picking your fruit, prepping your fruit um, to, to use. So that's probably where the labor is. Um, everything else is pretty time, pretty much just time. And uh, as far as labor goes, pretty easy. I mean, boiling water and putting sugar in there, it's not very difficult. Um, sorry, you're not even boiling it, you're just heating it up so it melts and then you mix it that's really it um, then once you've got it in the bottle you're going to put a packet of that yeast in the yeast is good for five five gallons so i'm not going to use all the yeast i'm going to use almost all of it um, i'll probably have just a little tiny bit left which i've already got use for that which i'll be putting into something i want to try sugar wine it's just sugar water um, that's all it is no fruit put yeast in there and see what happens just a experiment and see what I end up with <laughs> anyway um, yeah um, so anyway I just wanted to quickly go over the native blackberry just quickly because we are here just pissing some time away while my sh water heats up this is the native blackberry it's um, tastes different than the European one it's uh they're both equally good they're just different tasting um, but I'm this blackberry wine I'm making is gonna be a mix of the two so um, it'd be nice if I could get more native plant going so I could actually do a uh, full-out native um, blackberry wine which will definitely taste different than the European kind so um, yeah so this one is the native you can see the leaf right here it's quite small and jagged we'll take this over and I'll, we'll compare it to the other leaf of the um, the European variety of blackberry which is more of an invasive type as you can see it just has taken over this whole fence and it's got a very wide broad leaf compared to the very jagged leaf so you'll see the difference here um, that leaf is almost yeah it's much bigger as you can see so um, and doesn't doesn't have big jags, big wide paddles, and the blackberries they pretty much look the same. So anyway, just thought I'd just uh, show that real quick. We'll uh, check our status of our heated up sugar here. Looks like we're doing pretty good. Just gonna give it a bit of a stir, but I think we're oh it needs to be diluted a little bit more. I can see the granular 
the sugar in there. When I can see the bottom, it'll be a good indicator that our sugar's melted. So, anyway, it'll just be a, probably a few more minutes here. We'll just continue that. Anyway, I forgot to mention what you want to do is you're going to want to turn up the crank up the heat all the way. <laughs> uh, I didn't have it on all the way, so that's why it was taking so long. Anyway, now we got that figured out. This should take a lot faster. Just for shits and giggles, I added about a quarter more sugar of one of these bags. Just a quarter of this, this bag, which is two kilograms. Uh, more sugar means more booze. So we're almost ready. I can see the bottom of this. So um, I'm just going to get it just get it a little bit war more warm to help activate the yeast um, and but you don't want it too hot if it's boiling or really hot you end up killing the yeast so you don't want it too hot um, if you get it too hot you're gonna have to let it cool down before you put your your yeast in there so um, anyway we're going to um, pour the water in the thing so I'm just gonna get ready for that and I'll show you guys that process so as you can see I've got my sugar water in this pot, got my blackberry wine in this guy right here, and I've got my funnel already set. So what we're going to do is we're just going to carefully pour this contents into the funnel and let it drain in. And this gets a little tricky, so we're just going to do our best. And that's why I put it on the ground. So I don't tip and slide it off this crooked bench and it ends up spilling all over the, the ground. I don't mind losing a little bit of sugar water. That's easy to make. So, but all we're doing is putting this sugar water that's nice and warm in to this jug that's loaded up with blackberries. and. All we're going to add to this is yeast. So, it's probably more than enough. In fact, I probably got a little bit too full. I probably should have gone to about there to let it gas off, but I don't mind if a bit of foam ends up escaping a bit. That's not going to be too big of a deal. So, we're ready to put our yeast in. condom ready because these sort of go hand in hand. I'm just going to unravel our condom. And the last thing you're going to do with this condom is poke a few holes in it with a uh, safety pin. But just undo this. The balloon works too. Um, I still recommend to wash your balloon. You'll get latex um, powder ending up inside your, your wine possibly. So it's just nice to, to clean it in my opinion. So we're going to add our yeast. Now, like I said, I'm going to put almost all of this in. This is good for five gallons. We have three gallons here. So of course, I'm going to leave a little bit out. And I'm not doing perfect measuring. Um, you can if you want, um, but it's your call. So I've just got about this much right up to the barcode edge of that. That's probably enough to hold off for my next little project. And really that's all it is. What I do is I put the cap on, give it a bit of a shake, a bit of a shake to get the yeast in there, get it mixing, and it will start to activate. And if you keep it sealed, you're going to end up with an explosion. So, um, it's basically a bomb. So that's why you want to put the condom on there with a little teeny pinhole so it gasses off. I'm about to do that. So. Actually, the yeast is starting to do its thing already. It does not take long. Um, the yeast has to break down a little bit, but I can already start seeing bubbles starting. So, what we do is we just open this condom up, and this is the way I do it, is I just spread it and just poke a few holes. There, that's about four holes. It should be more than enough. And then we take our lid off, because that needs to come off. And you put your condom on, and you're going to want enough room 
for your gas to fill up this and then it will end up gassing off with the yeast and that makes alcohol so there you go in about a month time that should be wine thanks for watching well here's the experiment I was talking about this is just bread yeast put with apples and uh, sugar water and as you see it is definitely fermenting you've got the gas leaking out of the uh, little condom tops <laughs> hair locks um, I got little holes poked in them so they let the air out don't let any air in and they're definitely fermenting you can see well I don't know if you guys can see but I can see very clearly the bubbles going up there you go so it's definitely doing its thing both of them are so anyway um, these are just experimental I don't think these will taste very good just because of the bread yeast um, they might taste good with uh, bread <laughs> but I'll call it Christian wine <laughs> anyway just sort of joking um, this is the big one that I was working on um, it's just starting to ferment this is a little bit of gas filling up in here this will definitely lift up and inflate but it's just started it's been about almost uh, 45 minutes since I made the batch that we did on video just brought it inside to keep it out of the UV light and whatnot and um, just sort of have it in sort of a cool spot just in my room here I'll put these ones back I just brought them out just to um, to show the, the fermenting and and how it it should should look um, and of course my goal is to fill these guys up with the blackberry wine so um, they'll make good Christmas gifts well here we are uh, just quick little update as you can see we are now fermenting um, it's starting to bubble it's hard to see because of my uh, light conditions I apologize but um, oh, I got a flashlight this will work okay so you can see my uh, condom is filled up with air here there's um, here, I'll put this up against here, maybe we can, I don't know if this will work, but anyway, you can see the, um, the, the, the foam is frothing up here, um, it's pushing the, um, the foam up the spout here when we were, uh, when we were done here, um, sorry, this is just really difficult to do, so we were about here with the blackberries, and it's rizzed about that much because of, um, the gas is pushing pushing on it trying to to escape the yeast is just starting to activate and you can tell because the condom is standing straight up and it's filled with the gas and it's escaping out of little pinholes and it'll keep it uh, fresh from from any contaminants getting in and um, yeah in about a month time well about two weeks I'll be ready probably to rack off um, might be a little bit longer, but you go until it stops fermenting. You'll stop. You'll, you'll see it uh, stop bubbling, and all that. And when you're done that point, um, that's when you want to siphon out the center, is where your good stuff is, and you're going to want to get the liquid out of there. You can also filter it, um, and uh, once you've done that, then you're going to want to do this process one more time, um, as far as the racking off. But that's sort of another video because uh, of the amount of time it takes it's about two weeks to a month so um, I will do a separate video on the second part of of making bush booze but um, just wanted to show you that bit anyway hope this was helpful and please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos or want to see more of my videos and keep updated with what I'm doing anyway um, thanks for watching